Hello everyone, let us solve the third question from today's weekly contest that is minimum operations to make median of RA equal to K. So in this question you are given RA nums and also a non-negative integer K. So what you have to do is that first of all let's understand what is the operation given in the question. So the operation in one operation what you can do is you can choose any element and either increase it by 1 or decrease it by 1. So that is the operation. Now. What you have to do is you have to return the minimum number of operations that you have to do to make the median of nums equal to k. All right. So first let's understand like how they've defined the median here. Right. So median. How do you get the median of the array? So first consider the array in the sorted order. So if I sort this, what will I get? I will get 2, 5, 5, 6 and 8. Right. So in the sorted order, the middle element is going to be the median. So let's say now there are two cases when the array is or array size is odd and when the array size is even so when the array size is odd definitely it's the middle element right but when the array size is even then you have two middle elements but here according to them the median is not going to be the average traditionally median is average of the two middle elements when the array size is even right but here it's going to be the second middle element right so how can you access the median of the array so when the when there is odd case you can simply divide n by 2 right so what you will get here n is 5 right so you'll you're going to get 2 so 0 1 2 at the second index you can see you are getting the median of the array similarly for the even case you will get the median at n by 2 index only right so here size is 6 right it is already sorted so i have not sorted so 6 by 2 is 3 so 0 1 2 and 3 so at third index you're going to get the second mid value which is the median of your array right so i hope you've understood how to calculate the median of the array so in this question you first have to like sort the array and then you have to proceed with the further things that you have to do in the question right so all right after sorting the array and after getting the median what we have to do so let's say we get the median right and median is this um, nums of let's say the size is n by 2 so whatever is at this index n by 2 is going to be your median now what you have to do in this question is you have to calculate the minimum number of operations needed to make median of nums equal to k right so this value is given to you now in this case you can see the median was 5 now you are you are given the liberty of either increasing or decreasing the element by one right so this makes our uh, solution quite easier because here we can either increase or either decrease although contrary to um what it might seem to be apparently it's making the question much easier all right so let us understand how okay so k is four now what i want to do is i want to decrement this median right so what do you say go to this particular element now decrease it so as soon as you decrease it you're going to get four here and five here two here and six and eight here now see you consider the median in sorted order right so sorted order is this so the median hasn't been reduced yet it is five only right so what you have to now do is you have to decrement this so then you will get this array right you will get this array so now your median has become equal to k so now you can say that what you had to do was you had to decrement this 5 and this 5 so total two number of operations so hence the minimum number of operations that you did was two in this case right so now what we are going to do in this question it's quite easy see we are going to take the median element right and then we are going to check with this median element the difference between k and the median of the array and then let's say here two conditions will be there right if median is not already equal to k see if median is already equal to k then definitely return zero right there is no need to perform any number of operations but let's say median is greater than k right greater than k then what you have to do then you have to stand at the median right at this particular element and you have to consider the difference between this element and your median so difference between this and median is for this case one right so take a variable let's say count right in it is store this value right so inside of count just add this one then move towards the left part of the array because what can happen is as soon as i decrement it this number of times right like let's say here i decremented one number of times so there is a possibility that this element will become less than k right so 
to make sure that this element only remains the median i have to decrement these values as such that they equal to this particular median if they are greater than this right so what we are going to do we are going to from the median element right from the mid element you're going to iterate to left for median is greater than k case right and you are going to calculate the difference between these elements as well right so what you're going to do you're going to calculate nums of i minus k right minus k so what you will do if this element is greater than k right this median then after you have made it like equal to k you have to get and make all these elements greater than this equal to k as well right so that was the only catch in this question and if you just got this then the question becomes quite easy so as you can see so you have to just standard this median and if your median is greater than k you have to iterate towards the left from this mid value and you have to keep calculating keep adding this particular number inside of your nums or inside of your count right and similarly let's say the second case is going to be median is less than k in that case what you will do so definitely if your median so for example this case right or uh, this is median is equal for this case first let's sort the array 2 5 5 6 and 8 this is what you have right and the median is 5 and you can see you have to convert the median to 7 what you will do you will stand here and because the median is now greater than k sorry median is less than k so you have to move towards the right direction and again same thing you have to keep adding this value so do count plus equal to k minus now you have to do k minus nums of i all right so here you can see what is k 7 right and what is the median value 5 so 7 minus 5 you will do so you will get 2 so see this basically this operation means that you incremented the value to 7 right so this has become 7 so obviously you have to increment this to 7 as well right so you will come here and also do 7 minus 6 also add this value 1 right so in your count now you will have 2 plus 1 that is 3 now you will go to 8 so obviously 8 is greater right 8 is greater than k so you don't need to change this value right so your minimum number of operation are going to be 3 only so i hope you've understood now so that is why that is why i said that this is actually making the question quite easy right so now so i hope you've understood this is all we have to do we are going to check for these two conditions only calculate the median we have already seen how to calculate the median and then check this condition if median is greater than k then stand at that particular value and move towards the left and keep uh, keep uh, adding this number to count that is nums of pi minus k that is these number of operations you are performing and you have to perform these number of operations such that you make all the elements that are left to it right equal to k only right in case they are greater than you know median right because if they are greater than obviously this condition will keep being true right so you have you cannot definitely go and change that right otherwise you have to take something like priority key etc but this way because of this condition it's it has become quite easy you can simply iterate from this to the towards the left side and you can keep counting this number right similarly if median is less than k you have to move towards the right side from the mid value so that is it that is what you had to do in this question now let us look at the code so here first thing is to calculate the median you have to sort the array after you've sorted the array take the size of the nums and now calculate the median so median value is going to be at this n by 2 index after you get the median if let's say median is already equal to k so you don't have to perform any number of operations so return zero then take this count right now see if median is less than k then what you have to do you have to iterate median is less than k right so in that condition you had to you had to iterate towards the right right from the mid value so from the mid value you are iterating towards the right right and you are calculating k minus num so i okay and you are taking this zero here because uh, let's say now the nums of i is greater than k right so you have to add zero you don't have to make any changes to that number right so that is why max of zero and then let's say if median is less than k then what you have to do you have to stand at the mid element and move towards the left side right stand at the mid element and move towards the left side and keep calculating what nums of i minus k right and after that you can simply return the count either you will be calculating count from this case or this case and you are going to get the minimum number of operations in count so i hope i was able to make this clear now talking about the time and space complexity for this solution so the time complexity you can already see is going to be linear only because you are iterating 
either here right n by 2 times or either here n by 2 times and also uh, sorry because you're sorting the array so the time complexity will become n log n all right so it is going to be n log n and uh, space complexity is going to be constant because we are not using any extra space right so i hope uh, now the question is clear so again time complexity is n log n because of sorting and space complexity is because of one